Hi everyone, today I'm going to do another keto recipe. This recipe is from officiallyglutenfree.com. I recently came across it, tried it out, and it was absolutely delicious. So I wanted to share it with you all. It's actually a recipe for keto sour cream and chive crackers. However, I am going to make, um, I'm not really sure what to call them, but I guess I'll call them cheese puffs. Uh, where I just roll them into balls and bake them in the oven instead of making them into crackers and They came out really really tasty that way So I'm going to share the recipe and I'll put the link to the original recipe down in the description box below So the ingredients that you'll need for this are one third of a cup of mozzarella cheese shredded And by the way, I measured all of my ingredients finely packed so one three-fourths of a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese two tablespoons of sour cream, one egg, one fourth cup of almond flour, one fourth cup of coconut flour. The recipe calls for two tablespoons of chives, but I'm using three because I love the flavor of it. Two tablespoons of butter, I'm just going to use one tablespoon, this is totally optional, and some salt. I have my oven preheated at 350. As I mentioned earlier, this recipe is for a cracker recipe, but because I'm using it a little bit differently, I am going to use different temperature to cook it and different times. So I have my oven preheating at 350. The first step is to melt the mozzarella cheese in the microwave. This is what it looks like after 30 seconds. I'm going to give it a quick mix and put it in for another 30 seconds. And after 30 more seconds, this is what the cheese looks like. It's fully melted, so that took a minute. Now I'm going to add the sour cream and mix this well. I just added the almond flour, and now I'm going to add the coconut flour, the chives, and the egg. Give that a good mix. And I'm going to use my hand to mix this very well. I kneaded the dough for a little bit. Everything is fully mixed now and for the crackers uh, I would have to chill this dough for a little bit, but since I'm not doing crackers, I'm just going to form this into balls right now and just put it in the oven for baking. You can make them any size that you want. I'm going to take about the size of a golf ball and just roll them. And then I'm going to press them a little bit. and put them on a baking sheet with some parchment paper. And I'm going to repeat that step until I finish using all the dough. I got about 12 cheese puffs out of that dough. So now the last step, and this is totally optional, but you can put some butter on top. And then sprinkle some salt. And now I'm going to put them in the preheated oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. They're finished baking and this is what they look like. They are nice and golden underneath and have light golden spots on top. I had them in the oven for 20 minutes. You can bake them for longer if you like, but this is how I like them. These flattened out a bit more than the last batch um, and I'm thinking that's probably because the last batch that I made the dough was cooled in the fridge and I also didn't flatten them out as much. So you can do them any way that you like, any shape that you like. Um, you can make them uh, just into balls so that this way they stay more round or you can flatten them out a bit the way that I did and they kind of look like um, cookies in a way. But because these are much flatter, they would actually probably make really good um, sandwich slices. So I think I'm going to use some of them as that. But I like eating these with just some plain marinara sauce and dipping them in that. Or you can use any dipping sauce that you like. 
and this is what they look like on the inside and I'll try one they're really so good they are super super tasty and delicious cheesy full of flavor from the chives if you try this recipe please leave a comment below and let me know what you think about it again I will put the original recipe link in the description box and I will also put the ingredient list in the description box Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll speak with you all in the next video.